What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. I gotta say today has been so not productive and it may or may not be already 1 p.m. We're just gonna, you know, let this one roll off our backs because anything I'm about to say to rationalize it being 1 p.m. and not having done much today is just going to be excuses. <laughs> so I decided today would be a good day to go and actually try out the gym here for the first time. There is a weightlifting gym where I am, but it's very small and it's very, um, how do you say, rusty. <laughs> and um, just kind of more rugged, which is totally fine, but I have yet to actually go there and like work out And so I feel like I haven't given it like a fully a fair chance And it's been a while since I've lifted some weights I feel like it's been definitely a week and a half maybe even going on two weeks at this point and I'm feeling Like it's a good thing to do today. So I was so close to going to the beach I literally put on my bathing suit and I was like, you know what? Let's just go lift for like an hour or so test it out, see what the vibe is, and then maybe we'll go to the beach afterwards. And I think, believe it or not, I never do this, but I'm feeling called to try like a full body workout today. And I feel like that could be a good thing because there's not a ton of equipment in there. I got hoes in different area codes. Except I feel like I'm gonna melt. I've been doing all my workouts like in the morning, like in between, you know, eight to 9.30 a.m. So I don't die from the heat and it's 100% midday and this gym is like halfway mostly majority outside So there's definitely no AC in there <laughs> But it really might it might not be that bad because it's shaded. Let's just see um, What they want to do uh. anyway, it's okay. I'm gonna see why I did it. that song's so stuck in my head. I got hoes in different area codes you guys also i really want to go hike i bought these um hiking boots before i left which i feel like these look so ugly i don't know i felt like they looked ugly on the shelf when i put them on and like wore them i was like these are actually kind of cute and they're way lighter than my old um hiking boots that i had from 2019 they're from columbia i like them and i want to wear them definitely shorts 100 percent short vibe Ooh, i could wear that green <gasps> No, actually, I'm gonna wear this set. Yeah, yeah. Yay. Wonder what I should have brought more of, though? Like pump covers. A hundred P. I'm also realizing I felt like I was bringing so many things, and I really feel like I don't have that many pieces of clothing at all here with me, which is fine. I wanted to pack light. I just felt like before I felt like I was bringing so much stuff and overpacking. And when I look at this, I kind of have the bare minimum, except for active work clothes. Definitely not the bare minimum. Here's the fit. I knew this would look super cute when I actually had more color on my skin. I'm already melting currently. So I'm gonna be sweating like crazy. I've never tried to like lift weights in such humidity. So, oh, I'm not even kidding, it's like 90. I got hose in different area codes so you guys my biggest update thus far is the amount of creatures and critters in here and i borderline don't even like talking about it with you guys because the harsh truth not be trying to come at people's throats but like sometimes i get messages that just like aren't comforting about the situation you know what i mean i'm like hmm, now i'm more paranoid i don't know if those were like your intentions or not but like there's just people that say stuff on the internet but nevertheless my biggest thing that I've been struggling with, just to give an honest picture of what's going on, is the amount of critters and bugs that are in here once nighttime goes down. Like, I feel like I'm living in the movie, The Night at the Museum, or whatever it's called, with um, Nicolas Cage, because I just feel like that's when everything comes out. There was the largest spider on my curtain last night. I literally was about like, have that be my final straw. Like, you know what, I'm just gonna sleep outside. I just had a sequence. I tried to go into the three different rooms here and there was a large critter in every single room. And I was like, you know what? I just don't know if I can do this. And then I was paranoid and literally woke up three times last night in the middle of my slumber. So that's been my biggest current bear. I just am the biggest baby when it comes to bugs. I have always have been. I don't do well at trying to kill them. Like more so because I get, I don't want the confrontation of like, I just, I can't do it. I prefer to keep my distance and like turn a cheek and like go about my day and hopefully they go away. But from people who actually like live here in Costa Rica, they've been telling me that like I should be killing them. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just not cut out for that. Other than that though, still beautiful weather. This is like total nostalgia. I look like I'm going to the gym at home. Anyway, it's okay, it's okay, but I see what I did. 
I'm sorry guys, I can't, I can't help it. Except the biggest blessing of this whole entire thing is that I literally put this on anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to the gym and I don't need it, but I want it. Is that luckily the Airbnb, um, the Airbnb owner since I'm here for longer than 28 days have offered me like a complimentary cleaning service which I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, I feel so grateful for that. So they're gonna be coming once a week, which is such an unbelievable blessing. Okay, wait, I'm getting a little excited. Just a little giddy. You know, I kinda 100% wish I had my Oxy Shred here with me right now, because I would high key be taking it. So here we are at the Costa Rica gym. Um, here's a little bit of a tour of what we what we're working with what the space is like. It's definitely rugged It's pretty much whole things outdoor but like covered but there's fans which is nice Someone has like a speaker playing which is also nice but lots of equipment honestly There's a smith machine. We have a leg extension This is such a perfect little area for hip thrust. Look how cute the little rack setup is with the stumps I love the little stuff like that um, but we have lots of dumbbells. Um, there's even like an incline bench press, not that I do that, but you know, um, a lap pull down machine. So there's definitely some stuff here, some back machines, and then over here is some more chest equipment. And then there's even more dumbbells and kettlebells. And then there's kind of like another deck, um, which you'll see me at in a second for just kind of yoga and stuff. And then even in the corner, there's a lot of space for kind of like functional circuit training, which is really good. So definitely a lot of space and a lot of stuff to work with, which is good. It's honestly better than I thought it was when I was looking at it online. So it's not too shabby, not too shabby. But so we're hitting a full body, like I said. So I started off with my normal warm up, kind of that I do for leg day. I'm doing my deep frogger squat into a toe grab for like a deep hip stretch and then going into a hamstring stretch. We have our low lateral lunges. I like to keep it simple, you guys. These things work for me and I don't want to be thinking so hard about what to do for warm up every time because then I probably want to do it. So keeping a routine just helps me get the warm up out of the way, the dynamic stretch and gets me ready to go. And so then I did the world's greatest stretch, my favorite. This is also so good, especially for a full body day because it's getting some um, a hip stretch and then also even in our upper back, that stretch and our hamstring and our hips, just like everything. It's a really good one. So for, oh, I forgot. Then I did my, um, a little bit of like glute activation stuff. Also high. Do we see my upper outer glute? We, we love that. We love a rounded booty. Um, but since it's been a minute since I lifted, I wanted to do a little bit of band work just to kind of wake everything up again and kind of just tap into that mind to muscle connection again. So I did some squats, some pulses, and then some kickbacks, nothing crazy. I did probably like max 10 reps a piece, if that, um, just for one set of everything. Again, just to kind of get that mind to muscle warmed up and get the glutes firing. And then I started off with some hip thrust. So I really thought this was gonna be like the perfect station. I thought the bench was like the bench all the way to the right was gonna be the perfect height, but it wasn't. It's a little bit too short, but I pulled over another bench. It's a little bit wobbly but it shall do, it should work. Again, I'm not trying to like come here and like be maxing out weight all the time. I just am mainly just trying to maintain with where I'm at. So the fact that there's even a hip thrust pad is like godsend. So I'm, I'm stoked so far. So I just stuck with lighter weight, but higher volume here. So I'm doing four sets of 12, but then on the last rep, I'm doing a 10 second ISO hold. These holds have been killing me. I did them for the first time like three weeks ago, I feel like um, in Utah and I've been obsessed with them. I feel like it's such a great way to increase intensity because you're increasing that time under tension. So quick form run through, my chin is tucked to my chest. My knees are stacked over my ankles. I'm constantly driving up through my heels. My toes are nice and light and I'm focusing on scooping with my hips up rather than leading with my belly button. I'm kind of tucking my pelvis and driving it up as high as I can towards the sky. So then, like I said, it's full body. This isn't just full on leg day, y'all. So then I went to a big upper body compound movement um, and I did chin ups just because they're nice and easy and obviously you don't need too much equipment for it. So I did these for three sets of as many reps as possible. I also don't know why I literally stood on a stump to try to get up here and I literally didn't need to. Like I 100% could have jumped. <laughs> I probably looked so stupid. I didn't realize it was like that close to the ground. Like it felt much higher for some reason. But anyways, dropping those shoulders away from the ears, my form gets pretty sloppy at the end because I'm going to failure. But trying to drop those shoulders away from my ears, theoretically and ideally keeping those legs nice and straight. And we're um, squeezing our lats to pull ourselves up. Our hands are just hooks to pull us up there. And then I went into another big leg movement here. So these are some RDLs for three sets of 12. I had to situate the girls for a second. You know what I'm saying? I just had to do a little bit of a sports bra situation check. So 
these are nice and easy because all I need are a pair of dumbbells, which we love that, and these always feel so freaking good to me. So starting the movement by pushing our hips backwards. There's a slight bend in my leg to protect my knee. I'm constantly driving up through my heels, and I'm keeping those dumbbells nice and tight along my sides. Um, along my legs, excuse me, my neck is in line with my spine and I'm not arching my back. I'm coming down to a nice tabletop position at the bottom of the movement. At this point, I was dripping sweat like nobody's business. Honestly, I started to drip sweat after my warm up. I'm not even kidding. It's so hot and humid here. It was literally like a hot yoga workout, but lifting edition, I've never, I've never lifted in these conditions before, but safe to say we survived somehow. So I actually supersetted that, forgot to say, with an upper body movement. So these are Arnold presses for three sets of 12. You're basically starting with your palms facing forward towards your face. And then as you come up, kind of when you get towards your head height, you're gonna rotate your palms outward away from you and press all the way up. This is to be getting our shoulders and just for more of a pressing vertical motion. Um, these are great, great for the shoulders. And then I look how freaking dirty my butt was. I knew this was gonna happen, but the set got so dirty, but that's fine because we're in the jungle. <laughs> so then I did another super set to finish off. I did Smith machine deficit lunges for three sets of 10 on each side. I want to say it was a deficit, but like kind of wasn't because of the Smith machine was already on like little blocks. If you can kind of see, I don't know. I just still put a block underneath me because the range of motion felt better, even though it's kind of a deficit, but not fully. But anyways, the biggest thing here is to keep your shin nice and vertical throughout the whole movement. So you want to make sure that you're pushing back enough into the lunge to keep a very vertical shin throughout the whole movement. You want your knee to be stacked over your ankle at the bottom of the movement, and then you want to be driving up through your heels. And I also like to kind of push my hips back a little bit just to increase that glute stretch and bring my torso a little bit folded over towards my knee just to make this as well a little bit more glute focused as well. So then... I'm going, I'm raffling. I feel like I haven't even taken a breath this whole voiceover. So then the superset with that was lateral raises. I did this for three sets of 12. Little weights here, but these always kill me. So I don't even really ever need to go super heavy. So I have a slight bend in my arm to protect my elbow. Y'all know the drill. Dropping my shoulders away from my ears. I'm literally sparkling because I'm so freaking sweaty. I was like, next time I need a towel. That's like, I borderline wasn't able to complete the workout because I just was dripping everywhere. Leading with my elbows and stopping with my arms to come parallel with the ground. Okay, love you. Holy crap, you guys. I was sweating like I've never sweat before in there. Like it literally looks like I had just got out of the ocean. And I wish I was kidding, like water droplets dripping, full on drops of sweat everywhere. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Do you see this? <laughs> and I knew that these were gonna get, like as soon as I put these on, I was like, these actually might get really dirty. And they got really dirty, but I don't think it should stain anything, but yeah. This should be my like workout when I'm doing like Pilates at home, workout set, not in the gym. I literally just hopped in the shower to rinse off because I literally was too gross to even sit down and eat lunch right now, and I changed into my bathing suit. The one thing that I really feel like I dropped the ball on, a couple things. You guys know I've been into taking like my minerals and re me re re <laughs> remineralizing my water to add minerals back in and nutrients and stuff like that to help with mineral repletion in the body. And I was so close to bringing it, but I didn't bring it because I didn't want to weigh down my suitcase, which kind of rightfully so because my suitcase was 50 pounds on the dot because after I brought like my tripod and my yoga mat and all my filming equipment, like stuff got heavy. But still, I feel like I could have fit more stuff in my carry-on and fit it. Anyways, I just really wish I found a way to bring it or at least some of them. First thing, second thing, I wish I at least brought the element packets that I have and I was, I meant to and I took them out and I, they just didn't make it into my suitcase for whatever reason. Those element packets are like electrolytes. I love them, they taste so good and they're just like so replenishing when you're like in the sun and like in, humid in humidity. And especially after sweating so much here and like in my workouts, I really wish I brought those because I've been buying like purified water essentially, um, which obviously is stripped from a lot of minerals, also de like getting rid of the toxins in the water. But still, I wish I was able to add, like remineralize my water. I can definitely put sea salt in there which I know I can do that and I've been putting it with my eggs, but still I just wish I brought those things. But coconut water is also very rich in electrolytes. So 
I'm at least trying to drink this. Wait, on a real note, can someone or multiple of you guys actually advise me on what you think I should do? Because I've been putting everything in the fridge, like this avocado. But I've had this avocado for going on a week now and it still is like firm. So should I not be doing this? I also have a banana in here that I feel like is just getting wiltier, but like frozen on the inside. Genuinely, let me know in the comments what you think. I should do. Even in Costa Rica. Wanna know what we're having for lunch today? Some tuna. Listen, I'm trying to ball on a budget. Like just be smart about like not buying every single meal out every single day. And also just be, you know, cost effective in the grocery store. Tuna's cheap everywhere you go, y'all. It is. I actually didn't check the price of this tuna, but I just imagined. And I also got some mayonesa because I thought they would have some sort of um, mustard and they don't. They have yellow mustard, but like, I, that's gross. I wanted like my honey Dijon mustard, but that's okay. We'll opt for mayonnaise. I really wish I could put this avocado in there. I kind of want to cut it open just to see. But anyways, I also want to do a whole other video about what I've been doing kind of nutrition wise. Also in my defense, this is actually my first time having tuna and I've been here for eight, nine days. So this is actually my first time ever eating this here. But you guys, that gym workout was not bad at all. Like I feel like the biggest like, What's so great about that gym is that there is a Smith machine like that's so clutch and it's like a good Smith machine Like it really does slide up and down very easily and there's like squat racks There's you know places to bench all that sort of stuff a ton of dumbbells kettlebells There's even a whole area for me to do like my full body functional circuits if I ever feel up to that Oh for a second. I was like I did not realize I got light mayonnaise, but I didn't it's with lemon This is probably gonna be good con limon Mmm smells a little bit lemony but there's definitely like a fully equipped gym there and it was way better than i thought it was going to be to be fully honest so i'm really happy about that and there's like even like a leg extension machine there's a lap pull down stuff like that there's not like full-on cables but that's okay i can definitely do so much with dumbbell work in between that and yoga and pilates and like at home workout stuff i feel like i have plenty of options plus like surfing and beach runs that's pretty much what i've been doing i did an instagram question box and people are asking me if i'm planning on lifting while i'm here I am, but definitely not like my normal workout split as I do at home. Like I'm not gonna be in that gym like four or five days a week by any means. There's also no like treadmills or anything like that. So I'm really only planning on being in there like two, maybe three days out of the week, I feel like. Oh, why don't I can put in here some carrots? Actually scratch that, I don't want that. I also got, I'm storing everything in plastic bags too to make sure no bugs get in here, but I bought plantain chips and then some like flatbread crisp things that I felt like would be good with tuna. And I'm kind of curious about these plantain chips. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm also gonna eat this apple. These flatbread crisps are like everything with the bagel seasoned. And there's no seed oils in here. Hello. Okay, it's already kind of dark in here because I've like closed my shades for when I come back I go into night mode, but we're gonna go to the beach because it's like sunset hour now And I wanted to show you guys my fit because this is exactly what I was envisioning when I got this shirt from TJ Maxx We have this oversized button-up linen shirt and then I have my favorite shorts from Trills or Thrills I think it's Thrills. Trills is definitely an ice cream place in Hawaii. I think it's Thrills flip-flops and then my little knapsack and I'm also bringing my journal and this book as well because I tend to get very creative um, during sunset especially at the beach so I kind of want to do some like work brainstorming type stuff I feel like weird calling it work because that's kind of just like creation for me but yeah and I also have my bathing suit on underneath because I definitely want to submerge my whole head in water because I sweat so much today so enjoy this little beach montage, sunset montage. <laughs> 